Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will provide you with valuable information about various fish species and their potential effects on your body. We have conducted extensive research to compile a comprehensive list of fish that can pose health risks, as well as healthier alternatives to help you make informed choices when it comes to seafood consumption. Our goal is to ensure that you have the latest information so you can live a long and healthy life. Let's start by recapping the key points from our previous video on 7 fish you should avoid. In that video, we discussed the risks associated with consuming tilapia, orange ruffy, king mackerel, bassa, fish oil supplements, deep fried battered fish, and eel. These fish tend to contain high levels of toxins such as mercury, PCBs, and other heavy metals, which can be extremely harmful to human health. The contaminants found in these fish can lead to neurological problems, increased risk of heart disease and other health issues. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and enable notifications to ensure you never miss any of our future uploads. Now, let's move on to our expanded list of 10 additional fish to avoid. Number 10, Marlin. Marlin, for example, accumulates high levels of mercury due to its position at the top of the food chain. Mercury is a toxic heavy metal that can pose major health risks when consumed, including neurological damage, cognitive impairment, vision loss, kidney dysfunction, and cardiovascular disease. Number 9, Barracuda. Consuming Barracuda may pose health risks due to the potential presence of a toxin called Ciguatera. Ciguatera toxin is produced by certain microscopic algae that are consumed by smaller fish, which then accumulate the toxin in their bodies. When barracuda feed on these smaller fish, they can accumulate high levels of ciguatera toxin, which is heat-resistant and cannot be destroyed by cooking. Ingesting this toxin can lead to ciguatera fish poisoning in humans, causing a range of symptoms such as gastrointestinal distress, as well as neurological effects including fatigue, headaches, dizziness, and in severe cases, even paralysis. Furthermore, ciguatera toxin is difficult to detect, as it does not affect the taste, smell, or appearance of the fish, making it challenging to identify contaminated barracuda visually. Therefore it is important to exercise caution and avoid consuming barracuda to reduce the risk of ciguatera fish poisoning. Number 8, Farm Shrimp. Farm shrimp brings up concerns due to the intensification of farming practices, which can lead to disease and contamination. Farmers often resort to using chemicals and antibiotics to combat these issues, resulting in antibiotic resistance. Additionally, the traceability and transparency of shrimp sold in the market can be questionable, with mislabeling being a common problem. Number 7, Spanish Mackerel. Spanish mackerel is another fish to be cautious about due to its mercury content and potential contamination with polychlorinated biphenyls PCBs, which are industrial chemicals that can have adverse health effects. The amount of contamination can also be affected by where the fish is grown, with significant differences found between Spanish mackerel from the Atlantic coast and the Gulf of Mexico. Number 6, Tropical Reef and Warm Water Fish. Tropical Reef and Warm Water Fish, including grouper, sturgeon, sea bass, red snapper, amberjack, parrotfish, and triggerfish, are prone to ciguatera poisoning. This poisoning occurs when fish are contaminated with ciguatoxins, naturally occurring toxins produced by the microscopic algae found in coral reef ecosystems. Ciguatoxins can cause a range of symptoms, from nausea and vomiting to muscle aches and even temporary paralysis. Number 5, Mori Eel. Eating moray eel poses potential health risks due to various factors. Firstly, moray eels are known to harbor parasites, such as nematodes and tapeworms, which can infect humans if the eel is consumed raw or undercooked. These parasites can lead to gastrointestinal issues, including abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Secondly, moray eels are predators at the top of the food chain, accumulating toxins like mercury and ciguatoxin in their flesh. These toxins can negatively impact the nervous system and cause symptoms ranging from numbness and tingling to muscle weakness and even neurological disorders. As a precaution, it is recommended to thoroughly cook any seafood, including mori eel, to eliminate potential parasites and reduce the risk of ingesting harmful toxins. 
Numbers 4, 3, and 2 are high in mercury. Number 4, Swordfish and Number 3, Shark. Both of these fish are apex predators and can accumulate high levels of mercury and other environmental contaminants in their bodies. Due to their position at the top of the food chain, they consume other fish and organisms that have already accumulated mercury. As a result, their meat can have elevated mercury levels. Number 2, Tilefish. Tilefish is a species of fish that includes several varieties, such as golden tilefish and black tilefish. Tilefish from the Gulf of Mexico is a particular concern due to its high mercury content. Number 1, Puffer Fish. Puffer fish, also known as fugu, is considered an exotic delicacy in Japanese cuisine. However, consuming puffer fish can be fatal due to the presence of tetrodotoxin, a highly toxic substance. Tetrodotoxin can cause numbness, dizziness, difficulty breathing, paralysis, and even death. The risks associated with consuming puffer fish are significant, and there is no antidote for tetrodotoxin poisoning. Now that we have covered the fish to avoid, let's move on to the healthiest fish options you can choose. These include wild-caught salmon, arctic char, barramundi, mackerel, excluding Spanish or king mackerel varieties, cod, herring, sardines, anchovies, trout, halibut, skipjack tuna, and mahi-mahi. These fish are generally considered to have lower levels of heavy metals and contaminants compared to others. They are rich in essential nutrients, including omega-3 fatty acids, vitamins, and minerals that are beneficial for brain function, cardiovascular health, and reducing inflammation. To conclude, it's crucial to make informed choices when it comes to seafood consumption. By avoiding fish with high levels of contaminants and opting for healthier alternatives, you can reduce the potential risks to your health. Remember to research the source of your fish, choose smaller species, and stay updated on local fish advisories. We hope this information has been valuable to you, and we encourage you to leave any questions or tips in the comments section. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.